Hey, what's up guys? Josh here from Mobile Tech Videos with another ROM and Flash review, this time for the Vibrant. I've kind of skipped out on a couple of these for the Vibrant, and uh, this one's actually going to be over the Gingerbread 2.3.2 beta that's floating around on the XDA developer's thread uh, on their form. So uh, this will be a review of that. So we've already flashed it, get it powered up. Um, now this is probably, obviously, the European leak for the i9000 uh, ported with some changes to make this run on the Vibrant. Uh, it's actually decently stable. One thing you'll notice is the wacky color screen uh, that <coughs> displays at certain points um, throughout the booting and maybe even a couple of times doing various things throughout the OS, so don't freak out when that happens. Um, we flashed this on our Captivate just like any other ROM. We flashed from the uh, JFD uh, 2.1 stock firmware and we loaded this with uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery just like any other ROM. Now, it's got the sweep glass to unlock. There's no multi-unlock -un tools or anything like that, but um, a lot of standard things like uh, basic widgets, get-to-know-you widgets, uh, YouTube widgets, and uh, an extended power controls widget. Um, we've elected to rock the gingerbread launcher out of the box. It comes with either TouchWiz or gingerbread out of the box. Uh, everything else actually works pretty good on it. Uh, not working would be GPS and uh, there is no recovery mode so you will have to Odin back to stock so don't think you can just uh, do some recovery or anything like that because that will not work uh, at this time but uh, yeah Google and everything uh, for the Wi-Fi works pretty well um, if you use it long enough you're gonna get some uh, some extended uh, force closing going on and once that starts happening <coughs> yeah you pretty much have to, uh, to stop I apologize for the coughing I'm still sick so uh, have to cough here every few moments but uh, yeah so obviously Wi-Fi works great that's Natalie Portman it was the uh, most popular search on Google so went with that um, anyways if we go into the about info we can check out some of the statistics um, this is the gingerbread XWJV1 build um, obviously the newer kernel uh, it's got a Dell uh, 101 logo behind it, so I'm not sure what's up with that. But uh, it's running the KVM baseband, which is why the data network works on this correctly. And 2.3.2, so i9000 is the model number, so you can kind of take a guess as to where that came from. Um, it's got a pretty cool set of uh, notification buttons uh, for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, sound, and auto rotation. So some cool stuff there as well. Now we've already elected to drop in the nicer framework res.apk, so check it out. We get the awesome, cool uh, turn off screen. Now you can check that out at the original thread in the description below, and uh, you can read up, uh, I believe it's in the second post of the thread that teaches you how to drop in the new framework. Don't write a script. I thought about doing that, and I just had nothing but headaches. It would get halfway done. I would have already deleted the current framework and then I'd get the stupid force closes and at that point you're just gypped and you can't reboot the phone without a framework so you have to redo the whole process so just either use Root Explorer or uh, some of the other stuff. Um, you do have to have BusyBox loaded to use the copy commands so I recommend Root Explorer. It's actually way easier because BusyBox was having trouble installing for me, but um, Limpack and Quadrant scores are about what you would expect from a 2.2. Now the experience itself is actually very zippy. Um, I'm really impressed. There's little to no lag with the launching and launchers and uh, nothing like that. And um, All the settings are pretty much the same. Obviously no multi-unlock is found under here. Uh, also when you flash the, uh, the newer framework to actually make that work correctly, go ahead and turn on all animations or at least some animations to make sure that that's going to work correctly. But um, yeah, this is 2.3, it's gingerbread. We hope that the developers can cook up some cool stuff and maybe a little more stability. No GPS, but data, Wi-Fi, everything else works. I haven't tested this with a front-facing camera Vibrant, so I flashed this on my non-front-facing Vibrant, but uh, it does have the front-facing option, so I'm assuming if you had that, it may work. Or it just goes black. But um, I'm assuming that would work, so I'm not sure. Maybe some of you guys can post up in the comments on this video and let me know. So anyways, Limpack scores are about 14. Uh, quadrant scores um, were around stock 2.2 digits. Not sure if Quadrant's calculating correctly, though, as this is pretty new stuff. But, um, yeah, I love the turn-off animation. Many of you are well aware of 
how cool that is. So um, if we wanted to power down the phone, we can also mention that if you're going to be going back to Odin anyway, also you can check out the, uh, the cool off animation. Something cool for people to cook back into uh, to maybe some, uh, some standard ROMs. Um, I just wanted to make note that the Galaxy S jigs are still on sale for 10 bucks. We've sold tons of these things. We ship orders uh, within pretty much about 24 hours. I like to say 48 hours to give myself some cushion. Um, I'll offer, you know, overnight shipping if someone wants to pay for that. Otherwise, free shipping, 10 bucks. Awesome way to enter download mode in very easy fashion. So there that is. Also, check out the um, the front-facing camera mod video as well if you haven't seen that. You can catch it out right there, and uh, you can check that out. We also offer uh, the front-facing camera in addition to the jigs on the products page, which can be seen in the description below. So check out the front-facing camera mod. Uh, be sure to pick up a jig. Don't wait till you brick. Pick one up today. This is Gingerbread 2.3.2. Not the most stable thing in the world, so only flashes if you want to play around. And otherwise, you may want to just hold off until a developer gets a hold of it and uh, really turns up the heat on this thing. So, anyways, thanks for checking us out. Samsung Captivate ROMs in a Flash. Sorry, Samsung Vibrance wrong, ROMs in a Flash. Uh, check us out at mobiletechvideos.com. Please subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And um, as always, if you're ready to try this out, good luck.